Hello Virgo, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Virgo currently view this relationship? All right. So Virgo, we do have the uh, Queen of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune and then we also have the Judgment card. The bottom of the deck, we do have the three of swords we also have the moon and then we also have the four of swords okay so in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship it kind of looks like in the recent past virgo something didn't necessarily work out in your favor and it kind of looks like you had a very difficult time making peace with whatever this thing was that didn't necessarily work out in your favor this could represent a marriage this could represent a relationship um but whatever this thing is that didn't necessarily work out in your favor, I feel like the fact that it didn't work out in your favor was the best thing that could have ever happened to you is kind of what I'm getting, especially because you have the uh, Wheel of Fortune to the Judgment card. So that's kind of telling me that it's going to be revealed to you very, very soon that by this not necessarily working out in your favor could have been like the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Now, if you're in this energy right now where you currently find yourself, you know, upset and hurt over something that didn't necessarily work out in your favor, you could very well be, you know, questioning why that didn't necessarily work out in your favor the way that you wanted it to. But I feel like it's going to be revealed to you very, very soon. Why, you know, this entire situation didn't necessarily play out, um, in your favor um not only do i see that being revealed to you but i kind of also see you know being revealed to you virgo that um you know something better is basically coming along so that could very well be a relationship that could be a job opportunity that's a, you know that's definitely a possibility but um by this not playing out in your favor again was actually the best thing that could have ever happened um to you is kind of what i'm getting now i want to look at the judgment card tell me more about the judgment card Okay, so we have the Page of Cups, we got the Four of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Temperance card out here. If this was like a relationship, Virgo, or like a marriage um, that went south, I, I kind of see you meeting someone, Virgo, very, very soon. And once you do meet this person... It's all going to make sense to you as to why that whole situation between you and that person that you were dealing with from your past just wasn't necessarily supposed to work out. Um, especially because I kind of feel like um, this person in particular actually possesses more of what you're actually looking for than a person than the person you were dealing with prior to that is kind of what I'm getting or prior to this person, um, as I should say. Uh, but let me look at uh, this person to the right of me. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Queen of Cups, we got the Justice card, and then we also have the uh, Three of Cups. The first thing that came to my mind is matchmaker, matchmaker if I could freaking talk today, matchmaker. Um, there's a huge possibility that you and this person might have mutual friends. You know, that's definitely a possibility. Um, that's definitely a possibility. But this to me kind of feels like somebody playing matchmaker here. So with, with that being said, yeah, there is a huge possibility, right? That, you know, you and this person over here um, have, you know, this mutual friend that just so happens to be this queen of cups, okay? Um, yeah, I am definitely getting that. It kind of looks like that's kind of how you're going to actually meet this person. Virgo is through a mutual friend, now, by the way, okay, um, this person that you're going to find yourself meeting very, very soon, um, especially if you haven't met this person just yet, they're showing up as an emperor, okay? So an emperor is all of the kings in one, honey. Uh, they're basically like the total package. You can't get no better than an emperor, just like you can't get no better than an empress. Uh, there's a huge possibility also, too, that this person might be older than you. Um, if this person's not older than you, Virgo, they might just have more life experience than you do. But like I said, Virgo, I feel like you're meeting this person but you're meeting them through like a mutual friend okay you're meeting them through a mutual friend i feel like this queen of cups is trying to like get the two of you to start talking to one another and dating one another is kind of what i'm getting um 
How does this emperor currently view this relationship with Virgo? Come on. Okay. We have the seven of wands. We have the uh, knight of cups. And then we also have the uh, hierophant out here. The bottom of the deck, we do have the ace of swords. We got the um, six of wands. And then we also have the knight of wands. This, um, this emperor that you're going to find yourself meeting, Virgo... It's interesting because how do I say this? How do I say this? This person might even say this to you. They might even say this to you, this emperor anyways, but um, this emperor, they do kind of come off to me as somebody who is like a little bit shy. They might even say that they're actually shy, um, but it's interesting because I don't necessarily feel like they are if that makes absolutely any sense. Like, I feel like this person is shy around people that they really, really like. But as far as, like, you know, talking to, like, any, and, like, any random Joe is concerned, like, no, I don't feel like this person is shy. If anything, I feel like this person's like, a social butterfly. If anything, I feel like this person's nothing but, you know, outgoing. But if, if they're around somebody that they really, really do like, um, they tend to get very, very shy is kind of what I'm getting. So this person might tell you, Virgo, that they're very, very shy. If they do tell you that they're very, very shy, it's because they really, really do like you. Um, because again, it's like, I feel like I'm looking at two different, like, personalities when I look at this emperor. You know, on one hand, I'm seeing like a social butterfly, somebody who's very outgoing, um, somebody who's very social. And then on the other hand, it's like I'm looking at somebody who's very like scared and like timid. You know what I mean? Um, so with that being said, Virgo, that's one thing that this person might tell you. I know it's very random, but yeah, I am getting that this person might tell you that this person, um, sorry, this person might tell you that they're shy, um, but they're only shy around people that they really, really do like, okay? Um, how does this person currently view this relationship with Virgo? Let me ask one more time. Okay. So we do have the Empress. We also have the Lovers. And then we also have the Two of Pentacles out here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Wands, so Three of Pentacles. And then we also have the uh, Hierophant with the Seven of Wands, so the Knight of Cups. There goes that energy that I was kind of picking up on as far as like um, this person's shyness is concerned. Um, they are shy, but it's only around people that they really, really do like. Uh, with that being said, in regards to how they're currently viewing you in this relationship that they share with you, they do view you as a true pair to them. They basically look at you like you're an empress. They look at you as somebody who's basically of their caliber. They look at you as somebody that they mesh very well with. Um, but if it's one thing that I will say is this, you know, this is somebody who's very excited i would say to see like what the future has in store here uh for the both of you because when the two of you initially do meet one another you guys are going to instantly hit it off with one another that's one thing that i am definitely getting strongly is that you guys will instantly hit it off with one another you're going to feel very drawn to them and they're going to feel really really drawn to you but this is somebody who really does like want to get to know you they're very very excited when it comes out to what the future has in store here for the both of you okay so then there's that how does this person currently feel? Okay. One thing that I will say about this one over here is that it's not going to take this person too long to basically realize you are what they want. I do want to look at the fool because I feel like as they're pursuing you and what they basically want here with you, because like I said, it is not going to take too long for this one over here to realize that you're what they want. I feel like they're, this person's letting something go in the process of it all. Uh, so let's look at the fool. I want to see what they're actually letting go of. Tell me more about the fool. Ooh. For those of you who do not know this, a person that sits in the chariot is the emperor. Your person did show up um, as the emperor. Yeah, so this person is definitely letting someone go um, in, in the process of it all. Let's focus on this really quickly here, okay? Um, with the six of cups, the three of pentacles, to so the five of swords, that's kind of telling me that this person was dealing with someone um, for quite some time. Okay. Now, whoever it is that they were dealing with, um, I feel like they had a very difficult time, you know, building and establishing, 
you know, a future with this person, but it's mainly because they had a hard time foreseeing themselves building and establishing, you know, a life uh, with this person in particular. Um, and it's kind of mainly stemming from a place of them kind of feeling um, like this is somebody that they can't, you know, trust fully because I am kind of getting that I feel like this emperor had a very difficult time trusting this individual that they were with I feel like they had a very difficult time taking this individual that they were with seriously is kind of what I'm getting um deep down inside though I kind of feel like this emperor kind of knew um that this person that they were dealing with for all this time just simply wasn't the one for them um but I feel like they just kind of decided to kind of stick around just because you know what I mean like what else is there to do like you know it has that type of feel to it but deep down inside they kind of knew that this person just wasn't the one one for, for them and it's just solely based off of how that person made them feel you know that person made them feel like they're not you know that trustworthy they're not that loyal um and they don't fit you know what i mean uh what they truly want and desire i would say within like a man and or a woman so point is is that as they're pursuing you in a relationship with you um they're deciding to kind of you know call it quits here uh between them and whoever it is that they were dealing with prior to basically meeting you okay back to you virgo how does virgo currently feel Okay, we have the Page of Wands, we have the Three of Cups to the star. I'm sorry, but um, there's somebody in the middle of the both of you. There's somebody in the middle of the both of you. And it's someone that you know, and it's somebody who knows them. Because there's somebody in the middle of the two of you. Not like a third party situation or anything like that. But I feel like somebody's trying to like play matchmaker here is kind of, you know, what I'm getting. But um, so Virgo, in regards to like, you know, how you're feeling about all of this okay um right off the bat you know i don't think it's gonna take you too long to basically realize that this person does possess a lot that you're actually looking for within a person but here's the thing virgo um is that even though this person does possess a lot that you're looking for within a person you know there's this overall energy of you essentially feeling like you're not necessarily ready for anything serious as of right now and it's due to this marriage and or relationship that just recently went south right so a lot of you feel like you still need some time to yourself. You still need time to regroup. You still need time to find yourself all over again. But if it's one thing that I will say is this, okay? I do see you not feeling comfortable with, you know, settling down or anything like that as of right now. Um, but I do see you willing, right, to like have them in your life, get to know them in the meantime, you know, possibly go on a date or two with them. Um, but as far as like, you know, jumping into a full-blown committed relationship is concerned, I just don't see you comfortable doing that just yet. Um, so, you know, then there's that. But what I should say. Will Virgo take towards this person or moving forward? We have the King of Swords. We got the Devil. And then we also have the um, Six of Pentacles. This, um, this Emperor, mm, this Emperor, um, how do I say this? 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 They feel like they're under like a lot of pressure. Yeah, this emperor feels like they're under like a lot of pressure. But it's mainly stemming from a place of like... How do I explain? How do I explain what this human is going through? Let's just say for a perfect example, right? This Queen of Cups um, over here just so happens to be like a family member of yours. And they just so happen to be friends with this one over here. Let's just use that as an example, right? This Queen of Cups could very well be telling this king. And Queen of Cups doesn't have to represent female. We could be talking about a dude here, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But this Queen of Cups could very well be telling them like, yo, like, you better not hurt Virgo, because if you hurt Virgo, you're going to have a fucking problem with me. You know what I mean? Like, I just kind of feel like this, this mask of energy, this emperor feels under a lot of pressure to not fuck up. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's kind of what I'm getting with you. 
And I feel like it has a lot to do with like this, this queen of cups, whoever this queen of cups is to you. Um, you know, obviously it's somebody who cares about you. It, it's somebody who doesn't want to see you get hurt. Um, so I kind of feel like this, this queen of cups is kind of letting this emperor know, like, listen, you know, if, if you get with Virgo, like you, you better not hurt them. You better not do this to them. You better not do that to them. Because if you do, you're going to have a problem with me. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, this this Queen of Cups, they don't have to be a female. They could totally be a dude. They don't have to be your family member. They could totally just be a friend. But whoever this Queen of Cups is to you, it's somebody who's very, like, overprotective uh, of you is kind of what I'm getting. They're very overprotective of you. But point is, is that this, this, this emperor over here, it's like they feel like... They, have, they, they feel like they honestly have to put their best foot forward when it comes down to you. And make zero mistakes when it comes down to you. It is kind of what I'm getting. And it's mainly because they want to kind of like avoid, you know what I mean? Having issues with this one over here it is kind of what I'm getting. But it's interesting because I kind of feel like this person knows exactly what they signed themselves up for. You know what I mean? They, they, they kind of knew, right, that, you know, by dating you, right, that, you know, this one over here would get this way about you or where they would threaten their life if they were to ever hurt you. You know what I mean? Like they kind of knew what they signed themselves up for. It's kind of what I'm getting. Um, anyways, what actions will this person take towards Virgo or moving forward? So we have the seven of wands. We have the wheel of fortune. And then we also have the hermit. So. There is an overall energy of this person trying their hardest to not like get too carried away uh, within this relationship that they share with you. Like I said, it's not going to take this person too long to realize that you are basically what they want. That's kind of besides the point here, but they're trying their hardest to just not rush things here or get too carried away just yet. Um, especially because things are just getting started here uh, between the two of you. They're also kind of taking into account that this is still technically speaking the very beginning stages of relationship. And we all kind of know that in the very beginning of every relationship, everything's butterflies, rainbows, and ponies and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, they're, they're trying their hardest to just not rush things here with you and just kind of take it day by day um, and just kind of see where life takes, you know, the both of you. I just kind of feel, to be completely honest, this person's kind of waiting for like a moment of adversity to show up, to see how you handle it, to see how the both of you handle it as a team um, is kind of what I'm also kind of getting as well off of this person's energy. How does Virgo plan on moving forward? Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. We got the Page of Swords. And then we also have the um, Nine of Swords. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Wands, so the Three of Pentacles to the um, Knight of Pentacles. See, this to me kind of feels like an overall energy, Virgo, of you kind of rushing yourself to figure out if something serious is something that you're actually ready for or not. Considering the fact that you just got out of a marriage or relationship, you're trying to like rush yourself into like figuring out if you're honestly ready for something serious or not. And it's mainly because you feel... Like, it's only a matter of time before they try to rush things here with you. Um, so before they even attempt to try to rush things here with you, it kind of looks like you just want to kind of figure out if you're honestly ready for what they're ready for. Because you're going to pick up the vibe, right, from this person that they obviously want something serious with you. And once you pick up the vibe that this person actually wants something serious with you, that's when I kind of see you trying to, like, really figure out if you're honestly ready for all of that um, or not is kind of what I'm getting. Like I said, Virgo, I don't feel like this person is trying to rush things here with you. Like, granted, are they ready to get this ball rolling here between you and them? Absolutely. But I feel like they're also, like, you know, really trying their hardest to not go about their relationship with you in that manner. And it's mainly because of what I already said. It's like, it's it's still fresh. It's still new. And everything in the very beginning is always butterflies, rainbows, and ponies. So their whole thing is they just kind of want to wait. Um a little longer just to kind of see you know what I mean like how the two are how the two of you are going to honestly handle like a moment of adversity within your relationship with one another are you guys going to handle it poorly are you guys going to come together and work as a team to overcome it together like because they're their biggest thing uh, when it comes down to a relationship uh, for them is being able to face moments of adversity together as a team and overcome it as a team. Like that's one of the qualities that they would want to have within a person is somebody that they can come together with um, 
and work together as a team to, you know, move past any moments of adversity. So they don't really know you in that type of space just yet. Only time will obviously tell like how you're going to respond and react to like certain moments of adversity. Um, and when that day comes, you know, depending on how you respond and react to, you know, this moment of adversity or whatever the case may be, will kind of determine to them, you know, whether or not, you know, this is, you know, a relationship that could turn into something long-term that could turn into something sustainable because this person, they have a lot of life experience. They kind of know that if they get with somebody that they cannot overcome any sort of, of moments of adversity with the relationship is not going to last long. It's going to fall apart. Um, you know, they've been there, done that. So, you know, one of the things that this person looks for in a person, um, is somebody that they can honestly overcome moments of adversity with, because if they can't overcome moments of adversity with anybody that they end up getting with, they already kind of know through life experience that it's not going to last. Um, it'll never turn into a sustainable relationship, you know, things of that nature. So, with that being said, um, they're going to take things slowly here with you, but just know that that's something that they're definitely looking out for. That's the first time I've ever actually gotten a message like that before. That's one thing that they're really, really looking out for is how are you going to handle fights and arguments with them? How are you going to handle those arguments? Are you going to be quick to up and leave them? Are you going to be the type of person that's just going to, you know, retract your energy and ignore them all day long? Like, how are you really going to respond and react to that? Um, because if it's one thing that I will say is that if you ignore them, if you retract your energy, um, you know, things of that nature, that's going to cause them to basically feel like they can't really create a sustainable long-term committed relationship um, with you because the relationship will be just full of unresolved issues, which is not something that they want to experience again. They want somebody that they can honestly talk things through with and overcome, you know, those moments of adversity with. So that way it's not like a reoccurring issue, you know, um, going on within, you know, the relationships they basically find themselves in. Right. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.